I'm not even sure Instagram knows what they're doing themselves. My account was growing hundreds of followers a day, but then it just hard stopped straight down to the bottom. Now I lose followers every single day. How much of Instagram, when you open the app now and start scrolling, how much of it is content from people you've actually chosen to follow? Because for me, it feels like it's, it's less than 30% now. I'm just seeing stuff that Instagram wants me to see or what Instagram thinks I might like. This once platform, which was very community driven, filled with people that you were interested in, people that you are friends with, things that you've chosen to see is now none of that. It's just turned into this not so creative depths of the internet doom scroll until you just remember again that I don't think I like this app very much. When I first started Instagram, when I first got Instagram, I used it as a means to do the 365 challenge. I forever wanted to take a photo every day for 365 days. That challenge is still great. I still highly recommend it. If you're into photography, if you're getting into it, you're new, intermediate, advanced, I think it's a great practice to take a photo every day and have somewhere to post it. Oh man, it's a lot of work. You forgot about it, you're, you're in bed, it's 11 o'clock and you go, oh, I didn't take a photo today. I've got, I've got 30 minutes left can be hard. Now, when I was doing that, uh, I started on a blog <laughs> with a B. I had a blog and I would go out on photo shoots and come back and organize my photos into little cool layouts and there's now apps for that. I think, what's that app? Unfold, unfold, <laughs> unfold. I would do unfold in Photoshop for my blog. I think Squarespace actually owns Unfold now. More on Squarespace later. I would go through all my photos, I would create like a little vignette of the day, of the experience, of whatever shoot I was doing. And that was the only way I could share my work was posting it on my blog or on my website, et cetera. And it was hard to get noticed. So when Instagram rolled around and you could start sharing photos on this platform where your friends could see them, it was easier than making a blog post every single time. Also, if you scroll down, if you go to my Instagram account and you scroll to the bottom, the very bottom. You'll notice, I feel like I'm scrolling through the glory days of Instagram right now. I didn't realize I posted this much. Yes, okay. So the first photo that is on my Instagram account right now is of my dog. January 14th, 2012, number 14 growing up. So that's how I was doing 365. I would number the photo, then the next one is number 25, approach to Alcatraz. Then it jumps to 116, the Louvre. These are very creative captions. And then it pretty much stops there and, and, and I deleted all the rest probably because I didn't like them. And then I started trying. And I was able to, for the first time, complete the 365 challenge. And that really got me involved with the app. That really got my friends involved, my family involved. And that's what made it feel like community. When I started posting more photos up through my entire career, like I, I joined Instagram in 2011. So I've been using this app for the, around 11 years now. And if you think about that, that is wild. I went for a tour of Facebook back in 2012 and I saw Instagram HQ, which was just a small subsection of a larger part of Facebook. There were just a few desks. They had an Ikea cabinet with a bunch of vintage cameras in it. That was the Instagram wall. It was very, very small. My office right now is big. Bigger. This temporary space is bigger than Instagram was when I toured it 11 years ago. A lot has happened since then. Now I understand it grows into something probably no one expected it to. It gets bought by other companies and then things start to change. People have different ideas of where it should go. Different shareholders, different investors have different ideas of where it should go. Different people take over. All of these ideas are melting into what now has become what we know Instagram to be. Ultimately, I feel like Instagram is theirs to do what they want with. And I think these changes were inevitable. And that might not mean photography. That might not mean having as much of a community impact or aspect to this platform that it used to. So I'm not mad at Instagram. I don't think like, how dare you ruin this app? It's not my app. I just downloaded it, signed up, and used it a lot. We log the amount of hours we've probably spent on Instagram. I could probably be such a better photographer if I had spent that time honing my craft. Maybe this is just a reason to reset, go back to 
community-driven platforms that make you feel inclusive, that will push you to be more creative, where you can make new friends and meet new people that aren't bots, spam accounts, fake, no algorithms. There's no machine or AI or group of people deciding what you get to see or what is relevant or what you should like. Instagram want to promote reels right now because that's where the trend is going. Everyone wants to be TikTok. You've often heard us say things like, we gotta play the game, and we do. If this is your career, like it is mine, I'm a creator, I'm an influencer, I'm an internet content maker of things. If I want to stay relevant on their platforms, I have to play the game and follow the trends that they are pushing. Now, I don't do that in all cases. I ultimately think I just wanna be happy with the things that I make. So if I don't choose to post reels and I still post photos and Instagram shows less of them to people, that's, I'm fine with that. I mean, it is what it is. I still like posting photos. I'm still a photographer. I still enjoy that the most. So I'm still going to do it. Even though a post from mine used to get, relative to how many followers I have, 200,000 likes, now they're getting 20,000, 30,000. They're just numbers. And I would say before all these changes were even made, the fun of posting to Instagram has long been lost. The community aspect and the friendship building, for me, it kind of vanished a long time ago. I think it's just been slowly eroding, not just recently. I think recently it's come to a head and you've seen like a wall. As of like June when they rolled out some new changes, my account was growing less than it used to, but then it just stopped straight down to the bottom. Now, I lose followers every single day. Where you track a week of growth, I might have had 2,000 new followers, now a week, is I've lost 3,000 followers. I'm not even sure Instagram knows what they're doing themselves. They make changes, they walk them back. They make new changes, some people like it, a lot of people don't like it. I think they're just trying to fit into a shape that another brand created. Let's take a quick break to thank our sponsor of this video, which is none other than Squarespace. If you don't have, how did you find me? <laughs> Guess I'll move over. Uh, welcome back, have a seat. I'm back. I've got to say I've I've missed you quite a bit. Yeah, it's been a while. Dude. I've, I, I mean, this place is... Uh, I'm glad that you found it. Sick. It's, uh, it's temporary, okay? It's a work in progress. No, 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 I'm not saying, I thought, it's great. It's great. Why don't you, okay, why don't we, we'll, we'll save this, we should go grab a patio and get a beer or something after, but why don't you, for old time's sake, why don't you just, uh... Yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to do it. I'd love if I, if you, if you wouldn't mind, do you think they would, should I? I'd love to hear about those, uh, those award-winning templates. Yeah, yeah. They do have good templates, and they do win awards for said templates. If you want to sell things on your site, there's a lot of new ways to do it. There's, uh shopping carts for products, you know? So people can add products to the shopping cart. Pay gates, subscriptions. Subscriptions are the new thing. People love to, you know, subscribe to stuff. So you can do that. Maybe write a blog, it's your thing. Yeah, blogger. What's up, blogger? <laughs> it's an all-in-one platform, right? Very easy to use. If you've never built a website in your life, so easy. It's so easy. If you can't build a website on Squarespace, I would be questioning how you got here in your vehicle today. Great customer service. I run the phone sometimes. <laughs> you have a problem? You might get me. <laughs> Podcasts, galleries for all your work, for everybody out there crying about Instagram. What am I gonna post? <laughs> what am I gonna, I hate reels. Oh, I hate reels. You know, maybe put your uh, put your photos on a gallery on the old uh, on the old space. If you're loyal and devout followers, choose to move forward with Squarespace. Uh, they can save a little bit of money using uh, McKinnon at checkout for ten percent off their next per. And it works a lot. That's what my dog sounds like. Ten percent off your next purchase. You can uh, put McKinnon in at checkout and uh, yeah, save money. And you, you want to just put it in whenever you actually buy anything from Squarespace and save money. Thank you, Squarespace. Thank you, thank and thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. If you can just wait in the hall. No, we should. Yeah, we'll grab a we'll grab a I'll patio. A no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm there enough, right? <laughs> Summertime. Summertime. Woo! I love that guy. What's a good alternative to Instagram? Because we still want to share our work. If I didn't have this app, I would still 
post photos on a blog if I had to, because I just love to share my art. Do we share it on Facebook? Do we go back to Flickr at 500 p.m.? Where do we go? Did a Q&A last week. Everyone asked this question. And my answer to that last week was Vero. That's an app that I've been sharing my work on. Now, again, before I even say another word about this, I'm not sponsored by Vero. They will pay me zero money. I downloaded it myself. It launched years ago and it was super popular. It rose to the top of the charts, then it just went away. Who knows why? Lots of speculation, but it's always been there and it's been growing. And recently I got a chance to meet the people behind Vero. Great, great individuals, which reminded me, oh yeah, I have this app on my phone. Opened it up, started looking around on what was new and began posting again, probably back in April. Since then I can say it's given back the feeling of community. It's given back the feeling of, I just wanna share stuff because I like sharing stuff. I just wanna post photos because I love photos and I just wanna comment on someone's photo because I wanna tell them what a great job it was or how incredible that sunset looked or the lighting in that is fantastic or I love how you framed this shot. Challenges, community challenges, monochrome Monday, hashtag Momo. These types of things make it fun again because there is no agenda. There is no algorithm. It's just photographers looking for a place to share. There's lots of different ways to classify different individuals that you meet on Vero as close friends, acquaintances, people that you just want to follow. Puts them into different categories that are all private, but that only you see, which makes the experience more tailored. But not only posting photos, you can post links, you can post stories, you can post a movie trailer that you're interested in and everyone can comment on that. It's a chronological feed. Now, as far as how is it gonna work for maybe content creators wanting to continue to make a living and monetize their work, I, I don't know what they are. I, I don't work for Vero, but I know the people that are there care about their users and want them to be able to maximize their time on their platform. I think just ultimately it's fun to be a part of something new and it's fun to post stuff in a new place and interact again. Art is nothing without sharing it. The process of sharing it should be fun. The process of consuming it should be fun. And uh, social media isn't the answer. It's not the only place to share art. You can print your work. You can have a gallery showing. You can walk into some local coffee shops and ask if you can have a space on the wall to maybe try to sell some prints or just donate a print somewhere so people can enjoy your stuff. Old school, analog style. It's not all about the internet and how to share things on social media only. That's what's popular right now on the internet and as far as content creation goes and having a career like something I do, but it's not necessary to photography. It's just an effective means to reach a lot of people. But with companies like Instagram pulling the rug out on a lot of people that have spent over a decade curating their art and an audience and deciding to show it to not even a fraction of them anymore, that's something I have no control over. Does it bother me? Yes, but I can't control it. I don't work for Instagram either. I don't know anybody there. It's not my app. It's theirs to do what they want with. All I can control is where I choose to share my art. So that's a little rant for you. It was too much to type in a comment response. It was too much for a single Q&A question. But a lot of my friends and I chat about this kind of stuff all the time and we all have mostly the same opinions. I just figured I would uh, I would give you mine and give you a bit of a solution with that instead of just making it a, a, a doom and gloom kind of situation. Well, it's gone, we're all done. We'll see you somewhere on the internet. All I know is that I still love making content and I'm not gonna stop anytime soon. That's it for me. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what your comments are below. What do you think about Instagram these days? Have you tried Vero? Are you signed up? If you've got a Vero account, drop it in the comments so people can find you. Let's build a new community for photography together. And heck, maybe we'll do a new editing your photos based off of users that we feature and find on Vero. My tag is at Peter McKinnon. Go ahead, find me. Can't wait to have a conversation. Can't wait to see what you share. See ya.